all right so now that the package is set up let's just you know, look at how we can you know, work with things now like any you know, api i think it is very important that you understand how the api is documented because you, know, you will face problems and it is important then that you are able to read the documentation and understand what is happening so google sheet api i'll just quickly tell you a few things uh, google sheet api right now is on v4 and uh, v4 has quite a few changes um, if you have used the previous versions right so you can see i am on v4 and uh, there are a lot of sdks uh, which you can which they have you know availed us and the one which we are using is obviously php but uh, you can get a lot of examples in here so app script is fine i think i'll look at the php one right so you can see it it is using the google service sheets spreadsheet with property of title you know and then it creates it gets a spreadsheet id now i am not going to do you know that i'm not going to create the spreadsheet through code because i can easily do that the, the, these are things which you need when it is completely dynamic in nature but i think i have only one sheet which will you know from time to time get the code so that that is fine so how do we uh, but yeah i think what you need to understand is there are a lot of examples in here and there is a reference which you can look at so that you know you can understand what all functionalities are available and this is the holy grail here you have all the um how do i say all the um functions available the api is here and you can use them so for example if you see we had google sheets right so if i search for google sheet uh, search and yeah so it it gives you this constructor where we can pass the client so that's how the client was is created and then you know if if we go back right so here is an example of how we create let's say a google spreadsheet using their api okay it it gives the ability for us to pass certain properties like title and then create that spreadsheet it returns the spreadsheet id which we can you know, later use obviously we are not going to create that um, using an api call because i already have the sheet and i think you can under you already know that this is you know the id of the sheet yeah so this is what we are going to use um also updating sheets or rather read and write right let's go to read and write this is something which we are going to actually do so you can see this is how um, things are placed so sir, spreadsheet values dot get is something which we will be using to get the data and do all kinds of stuff so yeah the main idea here is that you need to understand that this is the api documentation and if you face problems do read them i strongly feel that you know any any problem that you face the answers are here it's just you need to be a little patient and look for it because with my years of experience i have seen that google's documentation is very um you know deep they have covered everything but i think um it takes time for you to understand that okay um it's not as easy as i would rather say how the laravel documentation is done you know uh, it, it gives you very neat uh, code snippets and examples which i think anyone can read um, i find google's documentation a bit difficult but yeah i think it takes time for you to understand but once you get it it's um, you know it will help you a lot yeah so let's get started with our code so i have a sheet id i will need to create certain uh, rather actually one environment variable if i'm not wrong so let's uh, go to dot env and that's my readme sorry env okay and why don't we in here go and create a sheet id okay um google sheet id equals okay i'll need to copy that okay that's done and to read them why don't we create a config file 
I'll go over here, new PHP file, and return an array, Google sheet ID, syntaxing again, okay, and inside the dot env file, I'll just copy this. So yeah, I think this is done. With this, I need to then create a service. So let's just create a new class. I'll call it Google Sheet. It's a service, so file name is fine. Uh, the namespace will be inside services. Okay, and so it has created this folder in this. Let's just define a few variables. Okay, I have already written the code, so I know certain things, but uh, just follow along and you will understand. So I'll have private variables, spreadsheet ID, a client, and let's just say one more, which is Google service, sheet service. So I have these three private variables and then, now in our constructor, let's just say select none, and in our constructor, we will need to create the client. So before that, so first thing is this spreadsheet ID will, we will take it from config uh, data studio. So as I told you, right, this is one example of the plugin. The, you know, once you enable the Laravel plugin, it gives you these autocompletes for config for route. So yeah, this becomes very handy um, when you are working with it. Um, you know, it easily gives you the, an idea of what are the exact keys and you don't need to you know, hunt around in the different files. Now we need to, so the spreadsheet ID is here and we have assigned it. Let's create the client. This client is equal to new Google client. Okay. Now what does, I think the constructor is kind of empty. If we want to pass anything in the constructor, we can, but we won't do it right now. Rather it gives us and set auth config method so this client uh, in here we should have set auth config right so, so we'll select that and we need to pass the it expects an array or a string a string of file path where the credentials.json is so uh, what we can do is storage path and then if I'm not wrong, it's credentials.json, right? So let's just copy that credentials.json. Okay, once I send this across, I think it will work. And also one important thing is we have this client and we want to add a scope. Okay, we want to add scope and limit it to just the sheets. So HTTPS, www google apis.com slash auth slash spread sheets this is the url which you need to add in why is it complaining okay it expects a try catch we can ignore it for now okay we have added the scope and the next thing is obviously we create the google sheet service okay we have the client so this Google Sheet service is equal to new Google service sheets. Okay. Just import the class in here and I think it requires the client, the Google client, right? So this is you know, where we created our client. So we can do this client and it will give us an instance of the Google Sheet service. So let's have one method, which is, let's just say, read Google Sheet, okay? So before we actually start reading the sheet, let's populate some data at least so that we can you know, have you know, confirmation that we are able to read. So let's first do that. 